Inside this box is my first ever Panda model. This is a CSA Czech Airlines Tupolev TU-134A. Let's get started. Taking a look at the outside of the box, we have what I presume to be either a picture of an actual Tupolev TU-134 or uh, art of the aircraft, and then we have the words TU-134 to indicate the type of aircraft. Then we have the words 1 to 400 scale to indicate the scale. And on the side of the box, we have this gray color, as well as the Tupolev logo, and this sticker, which I believe is Signature Japan to Models. This sticker tells you the type of aircraft, the scale, the airline, and the registration of the aircraft, which is, in this case, Oscar Kilo Hotel Foxtrot Lima. Then we have the clip out of the aircraft and the serial number. On the side, um, the art of the Tupolev C-134 warps around on both sides, and on the tops and bottom of the box, you have the same Tupolev logo and sticker. And then on the back of the box, it just says Panda Models, the scale, as well as a picture of a Tupolev T134 wing. And then, of course, you have all of the uh, Made in China stuff and, like, choking hazards and things like that. So, yeah, now let's open the box. And here is the modeling question. Now let's move on to the detail segment. Starting off with the segment for this model, we have the signature Tupolev black nose, then we have the cockpit windows, full landing gear with the last three letters of the aircraft registration, which is Hotel Foxtrot Lima. Then we have the CSA logo before and over the L1 door. Now going across the entire aircraft is a red and blue stripe that loops around to go across the right side of the aircraft and it says Czechoslovak Airlines on it. And then before the L1 door on the top of the aircraft you have one antenna and the bottom you also have another antenna. Then besides the L1 door you have these line looking things. I don't actually know what they're used for so comment down below if you do. I do believe however that they're used for communication. Anyway, we have the emergency exits on the aircraft wing, and then on the aircraft wings, we have this boon looking thing, and we have the registration of the aircraft, which is Oscar Kilo Hotel Foxtrot Lima. And then, moving on towards the back of the aircraft, on the engines, we have the Czechoslovak flag, as well as the registration of the aircraft. Then we have the classic CSA 1970s era tail, with uh, the red, blue, red coloration. And then the tips of the wings are actually colored red. Now, what makes the Tupolev Tu-134 and other Tupolev aircrafts actually unique is the air is the aircraft fuselage is actually too narrow for the landing gear to be put on the actual aircraft. So what they do is they install them on the wings, so they retract actually into the wings, which is why um, these sort of boon things even exist. And then on the bottom of the aircraft, we have the registration once again, which is Ho Oscar Kilo Hotel Foxtrot Lima. And then on the right side of the aircraft. There really is no difference at all. But uh, yeah, that really is all there is to this aircraft. Originally, I was actually skeptical to get this model because I didn't know about what kind of quality Panda models had and what their boxes looked like or how their models were. But now that I actually have gotten my hands on one, I can sufficiently say that Panda Models is probably one of the best model companies to get retro models or just even normal models from. Yes, while the molds may not look appetizing to people in the pictures, they're actually really good looking up close. So, if you can get a panda model, I would suggest that you do. With that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys liked the video, please like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell so you see my videos. And comment down below if you have any panda models in your collection and whether or not you like them. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, goodbye.